how y'all doing? We're gonna lead off this show with another of Colonel Bo's rip-roaring old-time numbers. No, we're not. What do you mean, no, we're not? I mean, no, I don't want to play another old-time number. Why in tarnation not? Because I'm tired of old-time numbers. All the gals think I'm too old for them just because I never sing rock and roll. <laughs> yeah. Are you sure that's the reason? Of course, sir. <laughs> of course. What other reason could there be? <laughs> well, uh, none, Colonel. So I'm going to sing a rock and roll song. Excuse me for asking, Colonel. But do you know how to sing rock and roll? Of course I do, young man. Take a lesson from a master. A one and a two. One, two, three o'clock, four o'clock, rock. Five, six, seven o'clock, eight o'clock, rock. Nine, ten, eleven o'clock, twelve o'clock, rock. We're gonna rock around the clock tonight. Pussy glad racks on and join me, hun. We'll have some fun when the clock strikes one. We're, We're gonna, gonna rock around the clock tonight. We're gonna rock, rock, rock in broad daylight. We're gonna rock, gonna rock around the clock tonight. When the clock strikes two and three and four, if the band swoops down, we'll yell for more. We're gonna rock around the clock tonight. We're gonna rock, rock, rock till broad daylight. We're gonna rock, gonna rock around the clock tonight. We're gonna rock around the clock tonight. We're gonna rock, rock, rock till broad daylight. We're gonna rock, gonna rock around the clock tonight. When it's eight, nine, ten, eleven, two, I'll be going strong, and so will you. We're gonna rock around the clock tonight. We're gonna rock, rock, rock till broad daylight. We're gonna rock, gonna rock around the clock tonight. You're too old now, partner. I most certainly hope not. Why, I might even get to be a big rock star. <laughs> yeah, I'm a thinking we'd have to change your name. How about Colonel Starship? I rather like Bird Dog Bo. <laughs> bird Dog Bo? That brings to mind a bird I once was a knowing. He was the best rock and roller in the entire county. A bird? Come, sir. It surely is true, partner. They call him Rockin' Robin. He rocks in the treetop all the day long, hopping and a bopping and singing his song. All the little birds on Jaybird Street love to hear the robin go tweet, tweet, tweet. Rockin' Robin. Tweet, tweet, tweet. Rockin' Robin. Blow rock and robin, cause we're really gonna rock tonight. Every little swallow, every chickadee, every little birdie in the tall oak tree. The wise old owl, the big black crow, flap their wings, singing, go bird, go rock and robin. Rock and robin. Blow rock and robin, cause we're really gonna rock tonight. A pretty little raven at the bird man stand Taught him how to do the bopping, it was grand They started going steady and blessed my soul He out about the buzzard and the oreo He rocks through the treetops all the day long Hopping and a-bopping and singing his song All the little birds on Jaybird Street Love to hear the robin go tweet, tweet, tweet Rockin' Robin Tweet, tweet, tweet 
rock and robin. Oh, rock and robin, cause we're really gonna rock tonight. Twiddly dee. Oh, rock and robin, cause we're really gonna rock tonight. Twiddly dee. Oh, rock and robin, cause we're really gonna rock tonight. Twiddly dee. 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 Mr. Hank Winter, my friends. Someone's done spilt a barrel of salt on? Or is it another name for an old salt? An old salt being another means of saying seafaring man. Or a tar. Or a sea dog. Hey, how come they never call them sea cats? <laughs> sea cats. <laughs> Did y'all know that I have a cat? Yes, sir. I discovered a while back that my cat was a taking singing lessons. She thought that if she could learn to sing like a canary, the birds had never noticed that she was a cat. <laughs> Should have called her Sylvester. Shuck, she even glued feathers on her fur one time to try to fool them. But they just sat up in the treetops and laughed at her. Now, I'm mighty fond of that crazy old cat, but there's nothing like the song of the birds to start your day off right. <laughs> When the sun in the morning peeps over the hill And kisses the roses round my windowsill Then my heart fills with gladness when I hear the trill Of the birds in the treetops on Mockingbird Hill Tra-la-la, twiddly dee dee it gives me a thrill To wake up in the morning to the Mockingbird's trill Tra-la-la, twiddly dee dee there's peace and goodwill You're welcome as the flowers on my Got a three-cornered plow and an 
acre to till And a mule that I bought for a ten dollar bill There's a tumble down shack and a rusty old mill But it's my home sweet home up on Mockingbird Hill tra la la twiddle dee it gives me a thrill To wake up in the morning to the Mockingbird's trill tra la la twiddle dee there's peace and goodwill You're welcome as the flowers on Mockingbird Hill tra la la twiddle dee it gives me a thrill To wake up in the morning to the Mockingbird's trill tra la la twiddle dee there's peace and goodwill Tweet, tweet. Somehow that song always reminds me of a little gal I once knew. Her name was Sarah Louise Lee. I'll just wager she was a real Dixie Belle. Yes, indeed, sir. I was just knee-high to a grasshopper when I first set eyes on Sarah Louise. And I recall I did six backflips and hung upside down from a railing to try to get her attention. But all those life-risking antics didn't impress her one bit. Oh, those blue eyes, those yellow brains. I've a oh. feeling you believe in love at first sight. Certainly I do. It saves a lot of time. Well, did you ever get her attention, partner? I surely did. And I still recall the romance of our first conversation. I asked her if she liked frogs. She admitted that she wasn't too partial to frogs, but that she did like chewing gum. Hope you had some on hand. Hank, 
I was clean out of chewing gum. Oh, the mortification. But Sarah Louise had some, and she actually let me chew it for a while. Heaven, I was in heaven. <laughs> <laughs> Did you get to carry her books home from school? Of course, sir. Isn't that part of being engaged? <laughs> yeah. How do you like that, folks? The colonel engaged. Well, as much as you can be when you're still in grade school. I'll just bet the other kids teased you especially when they caught us holding hands. But I'd just say... Yes, sir, that's my baby, no, sir. Don't be baby, yes, sir. Colonel Bo, if you like. Did I ever tell you about my grandfather? Well, when he first came here from Italy and opened a restaurant, no one had ever seen Italian food before. Can you imagine the mess everyone made with their spaghetti? It was so bad that he started making spaghetti sauce in special colors to match his customers' shirts. Grandpa's name was Vincente Spumoni. He even has a special ice cream flavor named after him. He had his name printed on the menus until one day a customer came into the restaurant and asked for two orders of Vincente Spumoni with clam sauce. Another time, a customer called out to him and said, Mr. Spumoni, there's a button in my salad. Quick as a wink, Grandfather replied, Why, it must have fallen off when the salad was dressing. Ha, ha, ha. That reminds me. I had quite an experience recently. Let me tell you what happened. Mr. Smurfy gave a party just about a week ago. Everything was plenty for the Murphys, they're not so. They treated us like gentlemen, we tried to act the same. Only for what happened, well, it was an awful shame. When Miss Murphy dished the chowder out, she fainted on the spot. She found a pair of overalls at the bottom of the pot. Tim Nolan, he got dripping mad, his eyes were bulging out. He jumped up on the piano and loudly gave his shout. Who threw the overalls in Mr. Smurphy's chowder? Nobody spoke, so he shouted all the louder. It's a dirty trick that's true, I can lick whoever's through. The overalls in Mr. Smurphy's chowder. They dragged the pants from out the soup and laid them on the floor. Men swore upon his life, he'd never seen them before. They were plastered up with mortar and were worn out at the knee. They had their many ups and downs, as we could plainly see. When Miss Murphy, she came to, she began to cry and pout. She had them in the wash that day and forgot to take them out. 
Tim Nolan, he excused himself for what he said that night. So we put music to the words and sung with all our might. Who threw the overalls in Mrs. Murphy's counter? Nobody spoke, so he shouted all the louder. It's a dirty trick that's true. I can lick the way we're through. The overalls in Mrs. Murphy's counter. If y'all will excuse me, I think I'll take an ice cream break. I know what's in that. Highway 40 blues I've walked holes in both my shoes Counted the days since I've been gone And I'd love to see the lights of home I wasted time and money too Squandered youth in search of truth But in the end I had to lose Lord above I paid my dues Got these Highway 40 blues Highway called when I was young Told me lies of things to come Fame and fortune lies ahead That's what the billboard lights had said Shattered dreams, my mind is numb Money's gone, stick out my thumb My eyes are filled with bitter tears Lord, I ain't been all years Got the Highway 40 blues exactly have holes in my shoes, but partners, I surely hadn't been home in a too long time. They say home is where the heart is, and mine's kind of split in two. Half of it right here, and half of it back there. I mostly miss my kin folk, and we got lots of kin. Why, my Uncle Rufus has so many young'uns that one day when they was out walking, a policeman arrested him for holding a parade without a permit. <laughs> Do y'all know the definition of heredity? It's something a father believes in until his son begins acting like a darn fool. My dad clean quit believing in heredity the day I told him I was going to hit the trail to stardom and took to the road with just the clothes on my back and my guitar in my hands. But my grandma... My grandma, she was all for it. She packed me up some homemade apple butter and a chicken pie, slapped me on the back and said, Go get them, tiger! Partners, it were at grandma's house that I first learned to play this old guitar. We'd sit around singing and playing. Us kids would have the best darn time. <laughs> Especially after lights out. When I was a 
little bitty boy just up off the floor. We used to go out to Grandma's house every month and or so. We had chicken pie and country ham and homemade butter on the bread. But the best darn thing about Grandma's house was a great big feather bed. It was nine feet high and six feet wide, soft as a downy chick. It was made from the feathers of four to eleven geese, took a whole boat of cloth for the kick. It would hold eight kids and four hound dogs and the piggy that we stole from the shed. We didn't get a lot of sleep, but we had a lot of fun on Grandma's feather bed. Then after supper, we'd sit around the fire and the old folks would spit and chew. Daddy would talk about the farm and the war and Granny'd sing a ballad or two. I'd sit and listen and nod by the fire till the cobwebs filled my head. Next thing I knew, I'd wake up in the morning in the middle of the old feather bed. It was nine feet high and six feet wide, soft as a downy chick. It was made from the feathers of four and eleven geese, took a whole boat of cloth for the tick. It would hold eight kids and four hound dogs and the piggy that we stole from the shed. We didn't get a lot of sleep, but we had a lot of fun on Grandma's feather bed. Well, I love my ma, I love my pa, I love Granny and Grandpa, too. I've been fishing with my uncle, I wrestled with my cousin, and I even kissed Aunt Lou. <laughs> If I ever had to make a choice, I reckon it'd have to be said. I'd trade them all in, plus a gal down the road for Grandma's feather bed. It was nine feet high and six feet wide, soft as a downy chick. It was made from the feathers of four and eleven geese, took a whole bolt of cloth for the tick. It would hold eight kids and four hound dogs in the piggy that we stole from the shed. We didn't get a lot of sleep, but we had a lot of fun on Grandma's feather bed. We didn't get a lot of sleep, but we had a lot of fun on Grandma's feather bed. That's what you might call a ticklish situation. <laughs>